All right, we're going to wrap up with our fantasy talk, and uh, I'll, I'll post our fantasy team on next week's show so you can take a look because we're going to draft our, our Live Tour uh, players uh, on this show as well um, and let you know where we drafted our players. So uh, we have our team. We're going to have 15 uh, PGA Tour regulars on our teams and, um, and then, of co- and then uh, five Live Tour players. So it all starts this week. Uh, and uh, basically, as far as I, some of the things I noticed, uh, I had the most major winners. I had seven major winners out of the 15 players. Uh, Jan had four. Jared, you only had two major winners. Um, actually, five of my top six pick, picks happened to be major winners. Uh, it doesn't guarantee anything, but I just thought it was interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking. I'm picking the guys that, that are going to win majors. They're going to win majors Greg, this year. Them. Yes, <laughs> already won majors. Yeah. Uh, Jan <laughs> took the first rookie in Aberg, and uh, actually, Jan did that. Uh, let's see, what round did Jan do that in? She did that in the third round. Her third pick after Scotty Scheffler and Morikawa was Aberg. So that's how big she's uh, she, the year because she thinks Aberg going to have. And um, Jared, you did not uh, choose a single rookie on your team, so that's, that's probably good. Old guys, old guys on my team. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Jan had the most international players with eight. What out a of surprise! Yeah, that's right. Big surprise. <laughs> little little Miss International over there. Um, and only one round out of the fifteen that we drafted, we, where we all had major winners. And that happened to be the ninth round in our draft where I went with Keegan Bradley, Jan went with Adam Scott, and Jared went with Brian Harmon. So those were uh, some interesting notes. And, again, I'm going to post this all up. We'll, we'll take a look over a little bit more time on next week's uh, show to talk about it. Jared and I will break it down, including the Live Tour. Uh, but since we're over the limit on our time, we're going to go ahead and go right to it with the Live Tour draft. So let's go ahead and uh, get that going. And well, you guys did so much better than me last year in that. I did pretty good in the one and done. I'm, at least I made money, so that's good. I got my. There you go. Money. See, but that's the important one. Yeah, you got. Yeah, you exactly. Do, do yeah. Has money involved? Yeah. We don't make. We don't. We don't play for money here yet. So, uh, all yeah. right, live tour and uh, Jan, you're gonna go first again. Same order. Yay! So, <laughs> yes, that's that's what happens when you finish last. You get all the luxury of the draft, so you're gonna make oh, sure that you don't. Good. You got to make sure you don't pick first next year. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, well, that's okay. I, I know. I'd rather I'd rather pick last. Um, or uh, you got to go with John Rum. I, I mean, I love his golf swing. Uh, you know, I know that he play, he's going. He had a lot of money, and you kind of want to prove yourself. So you want to prove that you know they that they deserve it. So he's he's just by far the best best player out there. Okay, John Rom. So he's off the board. That was easy. Next up, Jared. Who are you going to go with? I'll take Brooks Kepka, um, largely for you know the, his chance to win majors. I think he could do it again. Yeah, that's uh, that's also a pretty good one. All right, I and by the way, this is important in our in our in our league because you know you you can win the live tour with our point system. You know that could put you over the top each week. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and take Cam Smith. I know he could play better too. So I don't know. I, I think maybe the money got to him last year, maybe something. Anything else you think got, got to him, guys? Well, he didn't play well in Australia. I think no. the expectations, I mean, he, you know, he, I watched, I walked around with him on Sunday at the Open because I just wanted to see what his game was, you know, what was missing in his game. And he, he kind of, it, it's almost like he took, he wanted, everybody expected so much of him when they went back home. And they paid him appearance fees, uh, which, you know, I mean, everybody else complains when they, 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 how come you have to pay the Australians appearance fee? But you pay the international players to come back. And uh, and he didn't have to play. But, of course, he did. He missed the cut at, um, at, at Queensland when he was defending. So that didn't go over very well. And then he played badly the first round, which is, you know, everybody kind of was like, Wow, I mean, the Australian and the Lakes are two great golf courses, and he didn't hit it that great. And um, and I watched him on Sunday, and he didn't impress me from tee to green. He he, he played well, and he, he played. I mean, he scored well, but he did not hit it 
that great. Now, whether he's trying, I know he was trying to get more distance, and I think that's hurting his game. I don't think he needs to do that, especially in the live tour. Yeah, that's. Do you think? Do you think the motivation is still there with him, Jan? Oh, you know, people keep saying that. I don't think the motivation is a problem at all. I mean, it does take a little bit of the edge away. You know, Mm -hmm. when when you're doing it because you really want the money, it does change a lot of people. I mean, it definitely changed me when you're playing for that. But he wants to win so badly because he did get 180 million. So I think he's there's enough motivation. It's just I think it's too much pressure. He wants to do it so badly to show everybody in Australia because he was, you know, a huge, I mean, all the kids were all the changed, cut their hair to to mullets. I mean, you still now when you go down there, all the kids (laughs) that are playing golf have got mullets and uh, it's pretty funny to see, but I think, I think the pressure was actually too much. All right. Next up, Jared, who are you going to go with after Kepka? I guess I got to go Dustin Johnson. Okay. I'll, I'll pair him up with his buddy Brooks. DJ and Brooks. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take Patrick Reed. Oh. Jan? Oh, I'm going Bryson. You know, nice. I, 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 lo- I mean, he shot 58 last year. That's amazing. And 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 he uh, he loves being a superstar. He loves all the attention. He's working on his game. I'm, I, I, he's gone back a little bit to his older swing, which I like. I didn't like the new one. And um, I think that's going to be good for him. Yeah, that, that's a, another superstar that uh, has disappeared for a few years. So, and he's I think he wants to prove himself with a major. That's really the only way you can nowadays on the live tour. All right, I'm going to go with uh, Gooch. Who was a big time live tour? Did he win the live tour last year? Yeah, he did. Okay, so I'll go with Gooch. Look at that. No respect. Seventh player chosen, <laughs> live tour player of the year last year. All right, uh, Jan. I'm going with Joaquin. Joaquin was so impressive. Uh, I walked around with him on Saturday, and uh, I, I actually had a couple of friends that didn't really know that much about golf that I was walking with. And on the first tee, he ripped this unbelievable drive and they went, wow. And and I have been saying, I didn't really like his golf swing and all of this. And they, and he's, he, he hit it so good. Um, and coming down the stretch in the playoff, I mean, he, I asked him on the last hole, he had 178 yards and he was old. And this was in the playoff. And, and the first time he hit it to the right and had to go over the bleachers and he hit it on the green and he missed the putt, but he, but he made, he made an Eagle to, um, and it was an unbelievable shot. So uh, he dripped his drive like so far and, and he's like a little guy. And then his second shot was, he hit it to five feet in the, in the playoffs in a part yep. five. And I asked him, um, what he hit. And he said, I hit, I hit a, a pitching wedge. And I'm like, there's no way you could hit 178 pitching. As he said, well, I hit an eight iron from the same place, um, in the, the, the playoff hole before. And I knew I was so pumped. I was so nervous and so pumped that I hit it that far. And 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 he loved it. He handled the pressure so well. So I'm going with him. And he's a sweet kid, too. All right. Jared? Yeah, I wanted Neiman. So that's <laughs> disappointing. Um, I'll, I'll, take, uh, I'll take Abraham answer. Hey, I had him last year. I don't think he did too well for me, but I think no. he's going to bounce back this year. <laughs> Matter of fact, uh, J- so Jan stole Neiman from you because Jared stole someone from you. Who was it that she stole from you in the draft, Jan? Do you remember? Well, you Jan? stole – you stole um, – Hoisgard. Hoisgard, yeah. Oh, he's a Hoisgard, excuse me. Uh, it's American. It's, it's, uh, that's how we – Well, the same as, as Aberg. They, we didn't realize Aberg. that he pronounces it Aber, Aberg. Aberg. The little A, the little S thing on the top of the A is that it's a, it's an A, an A bird. Uh, let's see. Who was it? I'm trying to see. And I can't, uh, might have been somebody late then. Yeah. I can't, uh, can't remember who it was. All right. Next up is Jan again. Oh, I'm, I, I guess I got to go with Louis. He, he played so well in the Africa, South Africa on the, on those tournaments and, 
he's back home and he and he's back isn't as bad isn't bad anymore. So I'm gonna go with him. Yeah, you know what? Actually, after he did that, uh, I, I I put a couple of bucks on him on each of the three majors because he was long shots and all of those. So he's not in the U.S. Open field right now. So I agree. I think Louis might have something in him. Um, so we'll keep an eye on him as an interesting uh, major player because we know he can play in the majors. All right. Uh, Jared? I'll take Harold Varner. Ah, good one. Harold Varner the third. I'm going to go with Mito. Ooh, nice. Jared, your last live tour player. Oh, I'm up again. Um, give me. Yeah, Mito. Mito is a good pick. I like that one. I'll take. Uh, I'll take Jason Kokrak. Okay, Jason Kokrak. That's what we're down to in the fifth round. That's of what we are draft. down to. Yes. <laughs> there's actually one. No, there's a couple more major winners left. Actually, yep. there's three, four, five, four more left. Five more left, actually. All right, uh, Jan. Wait, is it Jan? No, it's me. Okay. Uh, let's see. My last pick. I'm gonna go with. Who should I go with? Here we go. Oh, you know, uh, yeah, you know. Well, I don't know. All right, I'll go with. Um, you know, I'll go with uh, Burmester. Hmm. You went with him uh, late last year, Jan, and I know he played well. Uh, mm -hmm. He just won an event. Uh, about a month ago, he actually he played pretty well. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. If, I don't think he went back to back, but he played well, like in consecutive events. So yeah, he's someone that's coming on. Jan, your last pick. Your last. This is the last Lib Tours, last draft pick of the year. I'm stuck between uh, the South African that. Oh, what's his name? That won the won the Masters once. Um, uh, Schwartzel. I'm stuck between him and. Um, and Erebin. Uh, 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 well, what was that? Erebin Lahiri. Oh, Lahiri. Mm. Okay. By the way, you got uh, Casey's left, Grace, Howell the third, Leishman, Phil. Mickelson. Phil's, out there still. Phil's still out there. Kevin Na, <laughs> one of your favorites, Jan. Well, I know, but I'm really, I'm actually got a call in to, to I want to find out what, what's, I know he changed coaches. Um, when I was with him a year ago, and I did not like what they were working on with his swing. So. You gotta get one of these players to uh, say you want to interview them for your okay. new YouTube channel. I'm gonna go with an Urban Lahini Lahiri. Lahiri, okay, yeah. there you go, Anabon Lahiri. Even though I love I love uh, Charles the swing, I, I think I'm gonna go with him. So again, I think players he's gonna have a breakout year. And of course, we could pick up these players, mm -hmm. drop them, pick them up. Um, we can't once we drop a specific player though we can't pick that player back up uh oh. but uh schwartz is still out there stenson tringali bubba watson lee westwood matthew wolf ian poulter thomas peters and the others that i mentioned so there's still a lot of good players out there and uh we'll post our uh fantasy teams uh next week on our show when we handicap amex right yep amex is next 